By now you've learned how an agent logs in and makes themselves available. Now let's understand how it works by answering a customer call. We are looking at the agent desktop. Please note that the agent is in the available state. When a call comes in, the agent will know this because they will see it in the upper left corner of the screen. They can answer or decline the call. Let's see what happens when we answer the call. The screen suddenly changes. We can visually see the call. We see that it came from the main number, in this case, 240-204-9150. This company happens to have several business lines, and we can see that the caller has indicated their interest in toasters. We can also see the length of time this call has been going on, here. Notice too that the agent is no longer available because they are engaged in a call. In addition to speaking with the customer, the agent has all the phone controls you might expect. Keypad, mute, and hold. If the contact center uses call recording, we can control that too. For now, let's assume we've solved the customer's problem so we can click in and hang up. Once we do, we have the option of allowing auto wrap up if it's turned on for this user or clicking one of the wrap up options available to this agent. I'll select one and submit the wrap up. The agent is back to available state. Now since this is a contact center and not just a call center, we can accept emails too. They arrive in the same way. We see them in the upper left corner of the screen. Even before we accept the email, we can see the customer, their email address, and the queue it came in from. Let's click Accept. We can see all of the emails that came in from this customer and act on them. When we're done, we click End and enter a wrap-up, just like we did for calls.